Okay, uh, I'm trying to make some, uh, just a rocket with smoke and fire coming out the back of it. Um, I saw this tutorial, I downloaded it off the internet. I'll try to give the credit to uh, where I got it. Uh, apologies for the person that, that made this, uh, but this is just my take on it. Um, I'm still reasonably quite new to it, so uh, please don't uh, please don't hate me for this. Um, okay, this is just the setup I've got at the moment. I've just got my little rocket uh, going along a, um, a curve. Uh, it's 250 frames long. Um, I just work in PAL here, so uh, Americans might be a bit different. All right, first up, all right, oh, no, it doesn't work in uh, the new operating system. All right, first up, um, make sure that I am in, is it dynamics? Yep, okay, make sure that I'm in dynamics in the top left hand corner. And the first thing I want to do is to make a particles and create emitter. All right. Now I've also got my um, my outliner up here. That's going to be pretty important. So I've got to go to my window outliner if I don't already have it up. All right. Now what I should do is. I should just move this over to my model. I should just get into a, uh, a full view before I do this. And of course, I'm working in a higher resolution. Uh, sorry, very low res um, to make uh, to make these videos now. So uh, please, it's a little bit hard. I can't quite get all my information on the uh, the screen. All right, so, but there I am. I'm just trying to put my uh, emitter just behind my rocket. All right, and uh, panel, which is not good enough. Okay, there we go. All right. Perspective, perspective. All right, now I want to uh, make sure that that emitter uh, follows my rocket. So I'm going to use my middle mouse button and click and drag my emitter using the middle mouse button up to my rocket. All right, you might have a polygon or just I'm just going to group it, parent it to the group. All right, pretty simple. And uh, there you go. You probably can't quite see it, uh, but there, there it is. All right, always try to work it back in your first uh, first frame makes things a little bit easier as well. All right, and I'll head to the second page now. I need to select the emitter. All right, double click on it. Let's have a look. No. All right. Um, I just got to go to my top right hand corner and just get my attributes working. All right, this is uh, where I am up here. And I have to go select the emitter and select my speed. I've got to go down. Select speed here. I'm going to change that to 0.2. Uh, this will change, uh, you know, depending on your scene. All right, let's just have a quick look at it. Yep, sort of. So it's not quite as strong as before. Let's go back. All right. Next page. Now, one next thing to do is to go to my particle shape. All right, it's the next one along. There we go. And I need to change the particle render type. It's got to be cloud SW. All right, and then I'm going to hit current render type. And then I'm going to change this radius to 0.4. Okay, again, these things may change uh, 
you know, play around with it. I'm just following this tutorial in front of me. And there you go. You can see that the um, it's just kind of changed a little bit more. All right, that's quite good. All right, next page. Let's go along and we'll go and All right, now I need to go over and select my particle. All right, and now it's then under the particles, go to the, my particle cloud. There we go. And I'm just going to change this color from the, I think this default blue to a dark gray. Go. Um, I just use that dark. All right, there we go. So we've got a dark grey. All right. Next, let's go down to the uh, light incandescence, just down here a bit more. All right. Now I want to go over to the right to my um, checker box here. So I'll click on it, and I'm going to click on ramp. All right. Now to find that again, I'm just going to go back to my particle. Yep, light incandescence. I can see the ramp. You can see the colors changed a bit. Uh, now I'll just click on my option just here, just to the right. Sorry, I, I used to be able to zoom in. I can't anymore on Mac OS Lion. Um, bit unhappy about that. Okay, so I click there. There's my ramp. And I'm just going to change these colors. All right, my first one, I'm just going to make that kind of a brightish orange. Uh, a little bit paler, perhaps. Okay. Yep, then I'm going to make the second color. I'm going to make that one a dark, uh, say, perhaps an orange. And then I'm just probably going to drag that a little bit closer. Again, this is a little bit difficult with my resolution. I don't want to speak ill of, micro, of Apple. There. All right, and then my last one, my blue, I turn to black. All right, there we go. So it's probably a little bit difficult to see, but. All right, it goes from, say, one orange to another, and then down to black. All right. Now, okay, let's just have a quick little play of that. See how it looks. All right, do a render. And uh, you could see, yep, colors kind of changed a bit there. Good. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do, let's just select our particle. And then I'm just going to go to light transparency. All right, and do something similar. I'm, I'm going to have a second ramp. All right, I'll click on there, make another ramp. Oops, what's happened to it? Disappeared. Should be there, I hope. Yep, there it is. Particle two, there's my life transparency. All right. Click, and I'm just going to change that from, say, a grey. Right, I'll delete that middle colour, and I'll just make that a white. All right, so that's just going to uh, make the... Um, Make your particles just uh, fade. All right, well, what they said. All right, and again, I'm sorry, I can't quite show what's happened there, but um, I think you can kind of get the idea. All right, good. Next page. All right, let's go back to the emitter. And. I want to go to the particle shape. 
All right, now this is where it gets a little bit fun. We're going to go down and down and down, down, down. All right. Add dynamic attributes. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, I want to hit the general button and then particle. All right. I'll scroll down to radius PP and OK. All right. All that's done is just I've added a, a new radius. It's just here. All right. Now, after that, I am going to click on it. Click, sorry, I'm going to click it using my right mouse button in here. Oops. Don't know what that was. Radius PP, right mouse button, and create ramp. All right, there I have it. I've got a new ramp. Now I can right mouse button again, click on this array mapper, and edit ramp. All right, now, particle size, why is that a black to white, shouldn't be that. All right, a bit different in there than you, Maya. All right, first color will be a gray, just so perhaps a light gray. And the second color will be a white. Right. Again, I'm sorry, I can't quite fit all of this in. It's not my fault. All right, there we go. So I'm just going from a gray to right. If you got the, um, I can't, looks like I can't get my uh, HSV settings, but in the tutorial here, this gray should be at 0.3. All right, next. Page. All right, done that. Okay, I can skip another page. Let's go back to our emitter. All right, yeah, you can probably see now actually if we press play, it kind of goes a little bit shorter now. All right, I might just try to show you. Show. Oops, oops. All right, I'll just hide that, just makes it a bit easier. All right, I'm going to go back to my emitter here. All right, click on my emitter. And I'm going to change my rate. Okay, basic emitter attributes. Oops. And I'm going to change that to say 400. All right, again, totally up to you. Okay, so we're going to get more particles happening. Let's go back, have a look. All right, now, next, I want to make this trail go out a little bit longer. I'm going to click on my particle shape. And I've got to look for lifespan attributes. Where is it? Lifespan attributes, here it is up here. And I want to go to random range. Okay, I'm going to follow the tutorial here. So it's going to be two seconds, give or take 0.2. Again, totally up to you how you want your, um, your, your thing to, to work. All right, there we go, looking like a uh, trail now. And next page. All right. All right, now we want to kind of add a little bit of turbulence. So like at the moment, that's rather smooth. We just want a turbulence feel just to kind of rough it up a bit. And to do that, we need to select our particle. Is that particle? Select the particle. And go to fields and turbulence. There's our turbulence. OK. 
Put now settings here, set attenuation, whatever that is, to zero. And our magnitude, again, up to you, 2.5, I mean, I'm gonna just 2.5 or three, uh, 2.5 for me, again, totally um, up to you. Now, if we have a look, yeah, you can see now it's all going quite crazy. Probably a bit more than we need, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just leave it there, okay? So, um, experiment, if you like. All right, now, okay, we can omit that. All right, now I might actually just stop here and uh, do a separate tutorial for uh, really getting the, uh, the smoky look. All right, but um, that's, a, that's a pretty good start. And um, I should just uh, leave it there. All right, so the next tutorial is, um, would just be about getting, getting a, a really nice smoky look. But I'll just finish it off, just have a look. Yep, that's not too bad. It's not great, but it's uh, okay for now. All right, see you next tutorial.